in the last uh, video, we mapped port 8080 on our host machine to port 80 inside of our Docker. And let's do a little more with that. So let's um, go ahead and exit this. And I'll do a Docker PSA here. I've got my web here, so I'm going to do a Docker commit. You're going to want to do this too. My web, and I will call this Ubuntu web server, just like that. And we can see that um, we've uh, done the commit, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a Docker kill. Ubuntu web server. Excuse me, I need to do it by name of container, don't I? Docker kill my web. And I'll do a Docker RM my web. Okay. So if I look under Docker images, we can see that we've got all of that, that Ubuntu web server. Essentially, that's just got Apache installed on it. No big deal. All right, so here I am in home Ubuntu or whatever your home directory is on your host. I'm gonna do an MKDIR and I'll call this website. I'll give it a chmod. Running all this is root. Bad practice, right? Uh, I'm gonna CD into website and I'm gonna pico a file. Again, I'm on my host, web, my host uh, operating system here. And I'm gonna call this file1.txt. One, two, three. So here I am, I've got home Ubuntu website with file one.txt. Now, just like we mapped a port in the last video on the external machine to a port on the Docker that we know is running, we can do the same thing with folders and volumes. So I'm going to do a docker run hyphen hyphen name, and I'll just call this my web again because that's nice and easy, hyphen DIT. We're going to map port 8080 to port 80 here, just because that's how we've been doing it. It would make more sense most of the time. You're just going to map port 80 to 80. You can do it that way if you'd like. We're going to do a hyphen V for volume, and we're going to map home Ubuntu website to var www.html because that is where we have our web directory on this Apache server. And I'm going to give it the name of the image that I saved, which was, I had to run a Docker images to look again, Ubuntu web server. Excellent. So I'm going to do my Docker exec into this, and I'm using my uh, up arrow as a crutch here, uh, Docker exec IT, my web bin bash. If I cd to var www html, I do an ls, you can see we have file1.txt, which is what we put in home Ubuntu website. Now that's pretty decent because now we have content, we have files that are hosted in one place, but we have the actual program that's hosting those files running in a disposable Docker. So we can come down here to um, this website folder and we can make all kinds of changes. We can kill this Docker image, restart it, and still have all of our website files intact without having to worry about committing this Docker. All right, so that's how you map volumes uh, on a host.